Hey, LOM community, what's going on? Lockout Men here. Hey, this uh, episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call is dedicated to the life and memory of Kend- Kend- Katrina, Truck Diva, Alkin, Alkenny, Lady Trucker. She is gone but never forgotten. Um, my condolences goes out to the family. The family is in my prayers. And uh, and this podcast episode of Lockout Man Makes the Call is dedicated to her memory. All right, all right, all right. All right, what's what's going on, guys? Lockout Man back again, once again. Yo, let me let me uh get let me get this out the way right quick. Let me get this out the way right quick. Every Wednesday, well, I, I want to say depending on my schedule, my work schedule, okay, every Wednesday and every Friday is when I'm going to try and upload Lockout Men Makes the Call videos, all right? Every Wednesday and every Friday because the way that I'm doing it now, as you guys can see, I still got on the same outfit I'm like doing these calls in blocks, you know what I'm saying? I'm making all the calls pretty much in one day, uh, especially coming off of coming off of the voting in the community page. So I am doing all the calls in one day. You know what I'm saying? Or at least at least I'm going to try and do all the calls in one day. You know, I'm, I'm going to try because editing takes a lot. So I'd rather get all the calls out of the way first and then I will come edit it up and then premiere, you know, for Wednesday and Friday. So for, went so far Wednesday and Friday will be to make the call videos and it will probably premiere sometime in the morning, like around 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time or maybe 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Maybe maybe on Wednesdays at 11 o'clock a.m. and maybe on Fridays at 6 o'clock p.m. I'm going to I'm going to see how how that works out. I want to see how that works out. All right. So before I get into this, I would like to send my heartfelt condolences to this young lady right here hold on right quick let me see if i can find her i would like to send a heartfelt condolence to the family of truck diva one of our own trucking or one of our own female truckers out here that recently passed um my condolences goes out to her family her husband he is a truck driver as well uh she's been in the trucking game for about seven years and uh we recently heard of her passing uh just a little bit after the uh, holiday so again my heartfelt condolences goes out to truck diva of 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 our trucking community out here so keep her in your prayers and she's upstairs driving along the highway the um she's driving that uh truck that that truck in the highway of a uh, highway of heaven um it's just unfortunate that uh that we was, that we were so sad to hear of her passing so my heartfelt condolences goes out to this young lady well, all right, all right, all right. So today, today call, y'all. <laughs> you guys want to know what today call is? Well, I went into the uh, community post, and without further ado, the first call is uh, Dominion, Old Dominion. Yes. Let's uh, let's put a little bit, a uh, little bit of information about Old Dominion right quick. Uh oh. Wait, uh-oh, wrong button. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. All right, there it is. Old Dominion, they are an LTL company. They are an expedited freight company. Um, 
it was it was not much of of information on the on their website uh about how can I actually get a hold of somebody in the uh in the recruiting department. But this is the company info. The uh company was founded in 1934. Old Dominion Freight Lines started as a single truck running a 94-mile route in Virginia over the last 80 plus years. They led the way to become one of the nation's top LTL freight leader and global transportation companies. The values that drove our founders decades ago still inspires us today. Uh, let's see. They are, they run doubles and triples and they run 53 foot uh, trailers. Uh, I talked to the young man. I was able to get a hold of somebody there. Then I talked to him for a few minutes. Uh, he gave me a little bit of information. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to give me the like the CPM and the uh, and the salary amount that that you guys would be making. But he did say something about that they are tops in the you know in their class. So with that said. Let's see what he have to say about Old Dominion. Let's get into this call. I want to say thank you to Trucker Black for suggesting Old Dominion truck li or freight lines for today's Make the Call video. Trucker Black, thank you very much. And if you have a suggestion for uh, for any call videos that need to be made in the future, get your suggestions in the community post when it when it comes up to be posted. Make sure you leave it in the comments below or leave it in the uh, in the DM on Instagram. Get at me now. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Thank you for calling AD. Your calls may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Hello, this is Arlette. How can I assist you? Uh yes. How you doing this evening? I'm uh I'm I'm a truck driver and I'm I'm trying to get a hold of someone there uh for uh employment or recruiting. Okay, let me connect you to our operator. Okay. And she'll guide you in the right department right, right way there, sir. One I, moment. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for calling OD. I'm my direct call. Uh, yes, ma'am. I am a I'm a truck driver, and I'm trying to talk to someone about the uh, about the driving opportunity there. Oh, my man. Thank you. In Old Dominion, this is John. Hey, John. How's it going? I'm I'm hoping you're the right person to talk to. I'm uh I'm a truck driver, and I'm trying to find out uh some trucking opportunities with uh old dominion okay where are you located oh okay okay i am located out of ohio ohio what part of ohio uh, i'm located out of cleveland where cleveland cleveland okay yes um all right so what i'm gonna do um is pass your information to uh, the driver recruiter that covers that specific region. Um, uh -oh. Hold on. Hold on. I think I lost you. Hold on. Okay. Hello? okay. Can you hear I'm me? Here. Can you hear me? Okay. I lost you there for a second. Sorry about that. Um, okay. You, you say hello? what? Yes. Can you hear me? Uh oh, wait, wait a minute. Still. There you go. I lost you there for a minute. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm sorry. I I missed all of that. So uh, you said you was gonna do what now? So I'm gonna pass your information on to the driver recruiter for that covers that specific uh, area um, of of Ohio. Um, but right now we do not have anything in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, okay. Well, that's 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 cool. I'm 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 just interested about the company. I'm just doing my research. So, is it all right that I ask a few questions about it? Sure. You know, because I'm I'm sure you guys hire out of out of other areas, right? Like out of other states. Yes. Yeah. So, um, this is this is like I I seen a lot of a lot of 
trucks uh, from Old Dominion. I've seen straight trucks and semi trucks. So, what what is the company? What what is the company base like? What are we? What, what like? Uh, what's what's the company base like? Like like semi? Is it more semi? Is it LTL? Is it expedited? So. Yes, yeah, so Old Dominion is an LTL trucking company. So we have, um, so we have both. Um, you'll see some doubles, mm-hmm. uh, people pulling doubles, um, and then you'll see, pull, you know, pulling a fifty-three footer. Um, we are predominantly, you know, cla- tractor trailers. Um, we we have two hundred and thirty five service centers across the country, um, and that's you know that's LTL. That's how we we do our our our, our business is, is through our the network of service centers. We have um, two classifications of drivers. We have a P and D driver, which is like a city driver. So they do touch freight. Um, they don't go. That's not you know a, an OTR driver. That's like a you know, local pickup and delivery. They're going to our, you know, around around Cleveland, Ohio, and 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 doing their thing there and picking up freight. And then we have line haul drivers. Um, that that would probably be more close to probably what you think of an OTR driver, but they basically go from service center to service center. Oh, okay. So this. Um, so oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. So you may have a route. You may have a route like, um, let's just say Cleveland to. Um, to uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and that's your route. Uh, as a line haul driver, uh, that's your route. So you could you could be be out for a day or two, um, or you could be home every night. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, oh. And they roughly get about twenty five hundred miles a week. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, being that you said you don't have no uh, offers for me in Cleveland, and Ohio, but there is other off- offers in different part of the i guess different part of the world right so if i decide if i decide to move like move down south or something like that and i'm interested in coming on old dominion my opportunities down there will be a lot more better would you say uh they could be better Uh, you know it just depends on uh where you where you move and uh um what uh what service center you apply for it depends on if they have a job or not as well okay okay is there so we don't hire people just just to hire we hire based on um based on um you know do we have an opening okay is there is there a sign-on bonus with the company uh we do not okay what about uh what about pre-employment uh do you guys do uh hair follicles uh for pre-employment drug testing we do not Okay. What about um, urine? Oh, urine. Okay. Uh, same question along that line. Uh, pre-employment. Do I take care of my pre-employment before I come to the company, or do or do I have to take care of everything during orientation? You know, like drug screening, uh, we, paperwork. We handle that before you come on board at Old Dominion. We don't do like what com- so a lot of companies do is they do an orientation, mm-hmm. and then they run your background and drug test at the orientation. Right. We don't do that. We do your background and drug test before you come on board with Old Dominion, and then you're an Old Dominion employee. Oh, okay. That's awesome. That's awesome to hear. What's, what about felon? Now, I'm not a felon. I'm just curious to know about felons. What's what's uh what's you guys' policy on felons? Uh, we don't necessarily have a, a set policy. It's just uh, we review all all you know checks, background checks, and make mm-hmm. make it make uh, opinions there. So um, you know, it just depends on what it is. Okay. When I come when I come on, let's say that I am coming on. Do I have my DOT card? I already have it. Do I got to get another one? Uh, do I got to get another one or can I use the same one that I have? Uh, you can use yours. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, so what's the, you, you said there's two different. So what's the, what's the pay? What's the CPM for, uh, I guess one is local and the other one is, is OTR like what is there a pay difference between the two? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, line haul gets paid per mile, and then uh, 
The other one um, gets uh, hourly local city driver their hourly pay. What what is the pay? I may ask. Uh, it just depends. To be honest with you, I, I we usually don't get that give that up front, but it it we are very competitive. Most of the time, we are above pay average. Um, I would say somewhere in the twenty cent range for um, for local city drivers. You know, twenty four, twenty five, and then um, you know probably in the kind of 50 range for uh for line hall all right so is is that a choice that i can that i can make whether or not i want to be a line hall driver or or a local driver is there a what is there is that a choice that i can make between being a line hall driver and a and a local driver uh i mean you can apply yeah if there's a job and P and D or uh, Cleveland, yeah, you can apply. And, okay. uh, I mean, you, yeah, I mean, it's just if there's an opening, you don't necessarily have a choice of, you know, if there's a line hall position, you don't have a choice of moving to P and D. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, let me ask you this: Do you guys offer uh, vacation and holiday pay? Yes, we do. What about a uh, per diem? Is it offered? A what? Per diem. Per, per diem. diem? Yes. No, we don't. Oh, okay. So you guys is just straight pay. What about uh what about yeah. breakdown pay and detention pay? Uh yes, we do have that. Oh, okay. Is the is the holiday pay for all holidays or is it just some holidays? Uh it's not every holiday, it's the main the main holidays. Oh, okay. Now you the main five now, or six. Now you mentioned uh earlier you said something about uh that that there's a lot of doubles, uh, doubles and triples uh, trailers out there. So I'm assuming I have to have my doubles and triples endorsements. Yes, you do. Oh, okay. Is that is that all together, or can I get that when I come in? No, you have to have that initially. Okay. What about hazmat? Uh, yes, you have to have that. Oh, okay. So you guys do hazmat freight? Yes. Okay. Now, well, yeah. You, never mind. I, I was about to ask. I was about to ask another question, but you already said I gotta have all of that before I come in. Uh, all right. Yeah. So the so being that the the local drivers just get paid hourly, but the the line haul drivers they get paid. Uh, they get paid CPM. So they they are assigned a truck. So when I get the truck, would I be able to take the truck home? Uh, no, you will not. Oh, okay. So I would. So I would have to if I'm on my time off. Which, which. Let me ask you this: Is it a full two days off or a thirty-four off? I gotta come back after would my you... thirty-four hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Our trucks are. are you know, you can't take the truck home. Um, the truck has to, you know, if you're a line haul driver, that truck has to uh, come back to the yard. And then, um, so you do have to be, you know, you can't, you can't be living in Cleveland and working for a service center in Atlanta. Oh, you, know, you okay. got to be near oh. that service center. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. And the average miles for the line haul is, is what, about 25, 2,500? 2, Roughly, yeah. Oh, Something okay. like that, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, can we, well, being that you guys run doubles and triples, we don't have no problems running the tolls, right? Right, right. Yeah, we have uh, we have car uh, tokens or whatever it is uh, in our trucks that pick up the pay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so being that I'll be running doubles and triples, majority of this is no-touch freight, uh, I, I, I'll say what? 90% dropping hook or is it all dropping hook for uh for P&D line for P&D city driver that's touch freight line haul is not is uh dropping hook okay <clears throat> now for the seat for the uh for the touch freight do we get paid extra or is just is the pay all included with the sal uh with the salary uh pay all included oh, okay uh home well this this is not for local for local drivers because I guess their home time is pretty much every day, but uh, home time for the for the line haul driver. 
Is it like... Sometimes, it just depends. I mean, depends on the route you're running. Oh, okay, okay. Now, do you guys, do you guys pay for, like, if we do, if we're out, like, if we're, like, out over the road... Do you guys pay for hotels if we decide to stay in a hotel instead of instead of the truck? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what about pet and rider policy? You know, I have a little. Uh, no, no pets and no riders. Oh, no pets and no riders. Okay. Do no. you do you guys do this uh, do dispatch up in New York City in California, and is it forced? Uh, we have we have uh, service centers all across the country, so yeah. Okay, so pretty, I I pretty much have to have to accept going up into New York City if there's a load that's going up there, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what's the computer? What's, what's the computers for the uh for the trucks? What's the computer system? Uh, we have it's our ELD is um oh PeopleNet. No, we just got Qual- off that. Qualcomm. No, it's uh it's called Cortex. Cortex. Okay, so that's gonna probably yeah. be it. That's gonna probably be a different, a new system that I'm gonna have to learn. Cause I know Qualcomm yeah. and I know PeopleNet. <laughs> uh, these uh yeah. these new ELD systems, man, is 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 crazy. Um. Yeah. So. <sighs> You you did mention something about y'all y'all different from other trucking companies as far as orientation goes, but um, it, do we get like like a any any type of come on bonus or something like that or some type of offering or something like that? It doesn't necessarily has to be a sign on bonus. No, we don't do any of that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what's the trust that you guys offer? for line haul um i think most of them are uh freight liners all right is they is is you guys an automatic fleet or or is it both or manual 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 oh okay okay um so you guys is pretty much drive-in i i have yet to see an old dominion uh reefer or flatbed or anything else other than drive-in that's correct we don't do any of that so what kind of, okay, so since y'all drive in, so what kind of what kind of freight do you guys haul? Uh anything and everything. I mean it's um uh, I don't know, it's anything and everything. <laughs> Pallets mostly. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh do you guys offer teams? We do, yes. Oh, okay. What about what about um do you guys offer uh lease lease options there or no? No. Mm-mm. Okay. Now, as far as teams, if if now do I got to come in with my own team driver, or do you guys pair me up with somebody if I just if I want to say, hey, I want to go team? Uh, we prefer come in as a team. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, inside the uh, inside the trucks, is there a dri- uh, a driver cam? Uh, it's facing Outward. forward. Yeah. Okay, not not facing the driver. Yeah, that's that would be a big <laughs> that would be a big thing, a big deal for me. Driver cams. Yeah. Uh, what's yeah. the what's the trucks governing that? Sixty-seven. Oh, okay, okay. Um, what about you know what what I haven't asked? What about benefits? What do you guys offer as far as benefits? Uh, we have uh, PTO. We have medical benefits, four hundred one k benefits. All eligible after sixty days. Okay, okay. Is there? You, you know what? I I think I asked uh, about. Uh, I think I asked about the questions. Um, other than Cleveland, what what would be another area that's close to me that you might think that's that that are uh, Toledo? Okay. So Toledo probably. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's probably the closest location that I, I can think of. I mean, we, we occasionally have stuff in Cleveland, so it's just a matter of now we don't. The best thing I, sh- I could suggest you doing mm-hmm. is going on our career, career site and signing up for um, notifications. So whenever we do have an opening, you'll get the uh, notification. 
Oh, okay, okay. I would, I, I would definitely do that. I would definitely do that. All right. Uh, well, you know what? Right. I do appreciate the time, man. Thank you very much. What's your name again? Uh, John. John. Thank Walter. you. Thank you very much, yes, man. Sir. I really do appreciate it because, like I said, I was, I was interested. I see a lot of old Dominion trucks out here, so, you know, I was just kind of wondering what was, what was the, uh, what was the difference, and, you know, see what you guys have to offer. Yeah, no problem. All right. I appreciate the time, man. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All Bye. right. Okay, so there you have it. There you have it. Old Dominion. What you guys think of that call right there? A uh, little bit of information. Like I said, it was, you know, I had to go through a, through a whole bunch of prompts because they don't actually have a recruiting department there. Uh in my area of Cleveland, Ohio, they wasn't hiring out of, but they might be hiring out your area. So if you want the direct phone number, I I pretty much don't have his direct phone number. But what you can do is call the 877 number. Let me, let me tell you the number right quick. Uh, you can call the numbers that I called was 877 877- Five six three eight seven five, and the hours is Monday through Friday, between eight a.m. and six p.m. So you can give them a call. Once you get a hold of somebody there, let them know that you're interested in a in a driving job with uh, Old Dominion. But realize that they only hi- when they hire, they hire out of certain areas. So they gotta have a job there for you to jump on but if you're interested in old dominion definitely give them a call what do you think of the call though what do you uh what do you rate this call at i think i will rate this call as a a modest four Uh, i'm gonna give i'm gonna give it a modest four i mean the young man did answer my questions um there was still more questions that i had but I knew that this particular company, being that it's an LTL company and it's a line haul company, it wasn't more much of the questions that I could ask him about uh, about Old Dominion, like I would ask, like you know, the major companies. But uh, you definitely have to have all your endorsements. Well, not all of them, but you got to have your tankers. Not not your tankers. I'm sorry. You got to have your doubles and triples, and you got to have your hazmat. So definitely coming into this company, you got to have your hazmat and you got to have your doubles and triples. Now I'm assuming that the pay, I think the pay is pretty good. The pay is pretty good, even though I didn't get that for you guys and I apologize, but I'm thinking that the pay is pretty good. So if anybody that's working for Old Dominion that want to come on, uh, come on to the podcast and let us know a little bit more about the company. I'm reaching out to you. All right, that's it. Well, thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like content like this and more, definitely like, subscribe, and comment, share, and hit that bell on the way in the door. You know what I'm saying? And hook a brother up with some coffee. You know what I'm saying? Hook me up with some coffee. Somebody, anybody, hook me up with some coffee. All right? I drink. I, I drink coffee. I go to Love's. I go to I go, I go to Petro, but Love's got the best coffee though. Anyway, anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys come back again. Make sure you tune in every Wednesday and Friday for Lockout Men makes the call.